All right, I've had enough waiting. It's time to go. I don't see any more cars after this guy. We're going now. I think. Let's go. They can wait for me now. My, my turn. And see, we were polite. We waited. All the cars are gone. We arrive out here carefree. We're not going to dance anymore. It's a very narrow little spot on the road. And it's not something to worry about. guy through because he seems like a nice person to me. And I, let's get out of here before more cars come. We'll get through it eventually. People get impatient and say, oh no, I'm going to be here forever. I'm never going to escape this place. But you will. You will get out eventually. Isn't this fun? And it's so beautiful. I wish I could get my head out. I wish I had a convertible so I could get work on my suntan while I'm here. But this is the safer way to do it. They're on the outside. It's more likely they're going to go through that wall than we are. We're going to crash into the mountain. They're going to crash into the sea. That's why going counterclockwise around the Ring of Ding Dingle is the safest way to go. This has been a wonderful day on Dingle. And it's There's a seagull. I think his name is Jonathan Livingston. There's a couple of either hikers or bicyclists. Oh, they're bicycles. Oh, they're motor bicyclists. Oh, how cool. They can usually fit through. Now, see how narrow this little passageway is here? This is a one-car road at this point. It's okay, though. People say, don't go to Dingle. Don't do the Ring of Dingle. Too narrow and too dangerous. No, it's not. Just try not to fall off the edge. You'll be fine. Follow Gary's tour's advice and you'll be fine. This person up here isn't a good driver. He didn't he didn't plan ahead and know how to stop it where there was more space. As a matter of fact, if he pulled ahead about 10 feet, he'd have a little more space, another six inches. But that's okay. It's the rear part of his car that's in the wrong spot. Makes it a little tight. Now he's pulling ahead a little bit. Just have to be polite. Be polite and try not to ruin your car and scrape it up on the rocks. Uh, did he hit the rocks? I think he might have. Uh, we'll see. And there's the Dingle Bike Rental, ladies again. With their electric bikes. Sometimes people who come on this tour have second thoughts. I've never had second thoughts. Gary's tours we take care of. The water is so calm today and so beautiful. 
it was any calmer, it looked like a lake instead of the ocean. Hard to believe that's the Atlantic Ocean. Now you see why we advise you get the smallest car you can. You'll be glad you did. You get a big car, you might have some problems. You get a small car, you get right through. Now these people are stopping here, which also doesn't help. It makes the road a little more narrow. Pay as you go driving. How about that? It's a clear, beautiful day today. I hope you can see that as we drive along the edge of the cliff here. I think, if memory serves me correctly, since I've done this ride several times before, and I think the worst is over now. The narrowest part is over. And what do we have here? A Tesla all-electric car. I like Teslas. Stop here and take photographs if you like. Stand on the edge of the like those people are. Tempt fate. See if the wind blows you off and you die. Or you go straight ahead. Now up here is a place where you can see the you can pet sheep if you'd like. Or you can see Igloo Homes, which is an OPW site. But the farmer whose property has the uh, site on it will still try to charge you three or four euros. Uh, and it's hardly worth uh, fighting with him about the Euro charges. But that's coming up here. You can pet baby lambs. And you can go to an igloo site. And go inside the igloo site uh, for igloos are the buildings that are round, buildings made of stone with no concrete. And they're owned by a farmer. Charges, I believe, two or three euros. You can say it's maintained by the OPW. You should get in for nothing. They're beehive huts. Uh, you can say that you should get in for nothing, but I wouldn't fight about it. He may not. He probably knows in his heart that you're right, but he still don't want two or three euros. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it today. We're not going to stop into the beehive by the sites. We've done that in previous videos. We have a tour, a video of this tour where we do stop and look at the beehive site. We do not pet baby lambs. Too much lanolin on there. And then there. And the road is still narrow here, but it's not as bad, I don't think. We got through the worst of it. something then, didn't we? Don't, hope I didn't do too much damage to the car then. Ah. I was trying to be polite. 